Hello everyone, this is Andrew Moore, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Grand Forks with a weather and climate briefing. As we are at the end of the month of October, I will sum up the month and give a quick outlook into November and beyond. First, let's take a look at the temperature trends of 2017. What you see are the monthly departures from normal temperatures for Fargo, North Dakota. The months in red are months that have been warmer than normal, and the months in blue have been colder than normal. Most of the months in 2017 at Fargo have been above normal, including this October. This slide is looking at precipitation departures from normal at Fargo, North Dakota. The months in brown have been drier than normal, and the months in green have been wetter than normal. As you can see, most months in 2017 have been drier than normal at Fargo, including October. This next slide is looking at how much rain has fallen during the month of October across the region. Very little rain has fallen at Devil's Lake, North Dakota, while much more rain has fallen in Minnesota, including Baudette and Park Rapids. Looking at 2017 through the month of October, both Grand Forks and Fargo are below normal for precipitation. However, Fargo is 6.64 inches below normal, quite a bit more than Grand Forks. October of 2017 also brought us the season's first snowstorm. From October 26th into the 27th, a swath of more than 6 inches of snow fell in the Lake of the Woods region, while much less fell over eastern North Dakota. One question that a lot of people have been asking is, has it been windier than normal in the month of October? And the answer is it actually has been. This graphic is showing wind data for the Grand Forks Airport, where there have been nine days this month with an average wind speed of 15 miles per hour. October 26 was a particularly rare day with an average wind speed of 28 miles per hour. So how does October of 2017 compare to a different month in terms of wind speed? This is also the data for the Grand Forks Airport, and the month is July of this year. You can see that there were no days with an average wind speed above 15 miles per hour. Most of the days were relatively calm, with averages between 5 to 10 miles per hour. So the fall can be much windier than the summer. This graphic shows some of the peak wind speeds from October 26. The Grand Forks Airport had the highest wind gusts with 65 miles per hour. As we head into the winter freeze-up, this U.S. drought monitor shows a few areas in eastern North Dakota and northwest Minnesota that are abnormally dry. Going into the winter freeze, river levels are also fairly steady but below flood stage. This is data from the Red River at Fargo, North Dakota. Now let's look ahead into the month of November. During November, normal highs start out in the low to mid 40s, but fall into the middle 20s by the end of the month. November is typically a drier month, much like December, January, and February. We will continue to lose day length through November, but the big change is to switch back to daylight savings time. This will occur on Sunday, November 5th, so remember to set your clocks back an hour. So what types of weather can occur in November? The frost freeze period has already ended, as has the severe thunderstorm threat. But until snow covers the ground, there can still be periods of high fire danger, wind, and blowing dust. However, most of the events in November will transition to some sort of winter weather. This is the Climate Prediction Center's November temperature outlook. For the northern plains, they expect below normal temperatures. And looking at their expectations for precipitation, you can see that the northern plains should experience slightly above average precipitation. The Climate Prediction Center has also released their winter weather outlook. For temperatures, they're expecting colder than normal temperatures for much of the northern plains. And for precipitation, they are expecting wetter than normal conditions. And this concludes our weather and climate summary for the month of October. Be sure to stay tuned for future forecasts, and thanks for listening.